Hello there lovely salt people. Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam and today we are going to talk about falling. Let's get down to business. So I wouldn't recommend you to terrain falling on your own if you're not experienced. But if you need to train falling because you're performing a martial art or you're moving in general, it's a really useful skill to have. And the first thing to keep in mind is that it's always about protecting your head, your neck and your spine. All the rest, like your hands, arms, everything comes after that. So we always want to protect ourselves. And for that reason, it's completely fine to move your hands to the head. And that's usually not the problem. Be uh, but of course I see a lot of times that people are posting in the direction of their fall, breaking their arms or uh, like completely falling out of control, um, collapsing to the ground with the back of the head. That's really, really dangerous and I always get shivers if I see it in soccer, football or anything like that. So the first thing to keep in mind, you want to tuck your chin at least a little bit to reduce the lever your neck muscles have to work against. So, and the second part is, like I said, you don't want to break anything else. So anything hard on your body, you want to avoid getting it into a smashing contact with another hard thing, which would be the ground. Here, of course, with the mats, it's way more forgiving, but we don't want to get into the habit of striking into the ground with the hands or anything that could damage our joints, bones and anything else in our body. Instead, we want to, uh, we want to dampen the fall, we want to slow it down as much as possible. And a good way to practice it at first is to just use the simple backfall already from a sitting position. And instead of just letting yourself with a straight back for a backwards, you really feel the oomph. Want to, um, you want to breathe out in that case because else your lungs will press against your ribs and it's a really uncomfortable feeling. Instead, you want to round your back and make it into a much smoother motion. And from here, you can go forwards and backwards and get a feel of getting into the contact with the ground. Already you're working your neck because you're trying to keep your head up front and that's a great exercise to start. In the same manner, falling to either side can be practiced as well. And from here you want to use the big part of your back muscles, uh, the latissimus, to dampen the fall. I'm not a huge fan of using your hands to break fall, so to like hit the ground with your hands, because once again, if it's hard ground, yeah, there's some potential for injuring the precious hand and the bones in your hand as well here. So what I like to do instead is you can actually post, not directly in the direction of the fall. So like this, I've already broken my arm when I was in seventh grade, but if I would just go here, parallel to the way I'm falling, like a useful rule is to just turn the fingertips into the direction you are falling from. So I'm falling into this direction, falling from there, fingertips into that direction, then it's fairly easy to give ground here, okay? And this way I can make the fall even smoother and I can take a bit of the oomph out of it. And from there, if you're comfortable, you can get one step further up, like in a squatting position. Remember, just press your knees a bit out and from here, if you want to uh, fall sideways, you can uh, put one leg over to the side and then from here, fall onto your ass and then to your side. 
or again, pose with your arm, but not directly in the direction you're falling, but parallel. And from here, this gets fairly easy. You can do this to both sides, and from there you can progress into a standing or an even higher position. So from here, still pull one leg over to the side, post, and get to the ground. You always want to get your ass to the ground as fast or as safe as possible. So basically, this is a one-legged squat. With a bit assistant of my arm, and then rolling to the side. And this gets really safe and comfortable even on hard grounds. And from the other side, keep your chin a bit tucked, breathe out while you're falling, and then you're already pretty good to go. Remember to progress slowly and at your own pace. If you're falling to your back, you might be able to divert the fall to your side as well. So to go to either the right or to the left, even if I'm falling to the back, maybe you have a sword in your hand, then even posting doesn't get feasible and you're just rolling. And if you need to, under circumstances, um, need to fall straight back, well, try to keep it rounded to really get comfortable with the ground. Don't be anxious. The ground knows when you have fear and it will strike you, but progress slowly, gain some confidence, and then move on to the next step. Okay, so I hope this first simple lesson on falling will help you in the future. Maybe if you're interested, we can have a look at rolling as well. But until then, see you next time and ciao.